Hi. Okay, where can we continue with Jenny? I did like one episode and then like stopped, so we're back. Okay, let's continue. We're stuck in the room, right? And we need to find our way out. The door is locked. All of our stuff was taken. Uh, we're trying to figure out it, why Grandpa is so nice to the lady who owns this house and why it's so like secretive for like no reason. Okay. We are moving. Why is that? Examine. There's a track in the ceiling panel around the chandelier. It looks like it can move. Hmm. Um. Oh, it's just a dusty old attic. Are we sure? Why can't I see anything? Right. <laughs> oh, hello, spooky bear. <laughs> Feels like he's watching me. Well, we already established that with the first bear. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What are you hiding, Spooky What's in the other- I don't like this, but what's in the other direction? Dozens of old boxes covered in dust and cobwebs, filled with toys, school projects, and old trophies. Addicts, where dreams go to die. That's oh, a globe. I'm like, something small is just standing there. Oh my god. to the creepy bear. Jenny was no stranger to the labs at Gumboldt, but she'd never seen anything quite like this. Certainly not inside someone's house. Hey! What are you doing up here? Loved by all, kind to a fault, Jenny's cousin was also the most popular girl in town. Oh, 
for that. There are just too many to fit in my bedroom. You're sweating like a freshman at prom, Susan. Now answer the question. What are you really doing up here? It's not what you think. This is where I, um, er... Teddy bears. I have vintage bears, new bears, rare collectible bears. Enough. Stop avoiding the question. We don't need to hide anything. You can be honest with me. I can't. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Susie's secret was the kind you took to the grave. A shameful, dark secret. A secret so shocking she feared she would lose everything. Her friends would abandon her. Her family would disown her. She'd never find true love. God, I'm going to die alone. Ugh. You can't tell anyone. You have to promise me. Fine, just stop whimpering like a lost puppy. You're embarrassing yourself. <sighs> Here goes nothing. This is my secret laboratory. Where I design and test my inventions. Your laboratory, where you invent things. Yes. You, a cheerleading horse riding dress wearing debutante. Yes. I want to believe you, Susie, but you know how crazy that sounds. That's why you can't tell anyone. If people found out, I'd lose everything. Could it be true? Was Susie Glatz, in fact, a secret nerd genius? Was she really leading a double life? There's only one way to find out. Susan Quincy Glatz, I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions. sparkling. Why do you make me do this if nothing sparkling? literally nothing sparkly. <laughs> Demographic projections to infer depth related topography and subsurface bodies. Come again? He lets you see inside stuff. 
Hmm. Well, what about that thing? That's Judy Kate, a gamma ray induction polygraph. And that? Hydraulically propelled telemetric manipulator. And this? That's a tea set. What? I like to drink tea. How did you get all this stuff up here anyway? And without being seen? You'd be surprised how much you can hide in a giant stuffed teddy bear. Seeing textbooks strewn about the floor reminded Jenny of something. My journal! I need to get my stuff back. Where are my clothes? Oh, Gerald took them. Who the hell is Gerald? Our butler. Of course you have a butler. He's taken them to be cleaned and pressed. They'll be ready in a few days. Well, I need them. Now. I've got a dress that would be perfect for you. It's got purple bows, and the sequence will really bring out the color of your eyes. <laughs> no, thank you. I'd rather be burned to death. No one's gonna take me seriously in a purple ball gown. And where's my other stuff? Don't tell me Gerald's got my journal. It's irreplaceable. Like I'd let that nosy old fool see your diary. It's not a diary. It's my case notes. Right, of course. A girl's gotta have a place to keep her secrets. I put all your stuff in the lockbox under my pillows. Okay. Are you kidding me? No wonder my head hurts. Jenny needed to recover her journal and the Dean's ring, but she wasn't quite finished with Susie. You could go. Is it loud? Is the music loud? You can go based on my texts if you want to. How's the music now? Is it still loud? Gumbold Moonbeam? Not sure yet. A Gumbold pin. The Dean was wearing on the day he died. Could Susie have huh? played a part in the Dean's death? No. All of Jenny's instincts told her it wasn't possible, but she needed to know for sure. You smell nice. What perfume is that? Oh, thanks. It's called Innocent. I remember you were wearing it last Thursday at the lake. I was. What did you do that day, after you left? Peggy and I took Veronica home. She was really upset. And you were there all afternoon? Yes. Why? How close is Veronica's house to the library? I don't understand. Why do you want to know all this? I need to rule you out as a suspect. Suspect? Why would I be a suspect? You're certainly very good at keeping secrets. I didn't do anything. Just ask Peggy or Veronica. I don't know why you're friends with them. They are terrible character witnesses. First Veronica, then Keith, and now me. I never thought I'd say this. But sometimes you can be a real... jerk. <laughs> what were you saying about Keith? Well, you didn't exactly make things easier for him, did you? You don't remember, do you? Oh, well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. What do you mean? After you... Interrupted the Reverend Eulogy, and after Keith asked you to stop, you tripped and knocked over the Dean's casket. And I guess they hadn't secured the lid properly because he rolled right out to horrify gasps as you collapsed and fell into his open grave. And that's why everyone's so worried about you. It all came flooding back. She had tried to defend her mom and repair her relationship with Keith. 
Instead, she had ruined everything. Jenny had lost her best friend. You should talk to Keith. I'm sure he'll forgive you. It's not that simple. He thinks my mom killed his dad. She felt the distance between them grow with every passing minute. How could she face him without answers? I have to find the Dean's real killer. You're telling me to search here, but I don't have the flip for that? That wasn't there before. Welcome torch. Let's go. Pink bows, fluffy bears, stylish clothes. She can't possibly be a scientist. <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that you aren't obsessed with boy bands in the color pink? Brain or bimbo? Which one is it? I am a scientist. But I also believe in the importance of good skin care and the power of matching accessories. You sound ridiculous. Susie couldn't be pretty, popular, and smart. That was just greedy. <laughs> I know what's going on here. You've stolen all this stuff. And you're planning to sell it all to buy more fluffy cushions or pink horses or something. I didn't steal anything. Some of the parts are from my father's factory. The rest I bought with my allowance. That's some allowance. If you didn't steal it, why are you worried about people finding out? I'm head cheerleader. I'm captain of the equestrian team. If the other girls knew about this, they'd laugh me all the way to the back of the cafeteria. Mm. Why do you care what they think? It's not just them. If my parents found out about my lab, they'd kill me. Why? Don't they want you to be a scientist? I think they'd like me to marry a scientist. Mm. Dad says science is a man's job. Mm. Girls are supposed to bake pies and become prom queen. Mm. Ugh, everyone in Arthurton is stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. If anyone else showed him the things I've created, he'd call them a genius and make them his lead scientist. So tell him, prove him wrong. I, I just can't. You have to keep my secret. I'm begging you, Jenny. Poor Susie. All of her secrets laid bare. Jenny couldn't help but feel... Disgusted. <laughs> Maybe there was more to Susie than she had first presumed. Jenny was confident that Susie wasn't involved in the Dean's murder. She wasn't evil. Just insufferable. Alright, I'm gonna grab my stuff and get out of here. Oh, while you're wandering around, can you find some parts for me? I need a battery and a transistor to finish this device. What? No! I did something for you. It was true. Susie <laughs> had kept Jenny's journal safe. And the Dean's ring. She'd even revealed her darkest secret to Jenny. Fine! Enough <laughs> already! What's a transistor? Oh! It's an electronic voltage regulator that- Just tell me what it looks like. It's a tiny metal <laughs> object with an antenna and three legs. If you can't find one in my bedroom, there are some old boxes in the attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transistor and battery. Got it. Go, Jenny! Mm. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Him. I still feel like this game would need some type of music, especially in these parts here, when no one's speaking. So, I'm gonna, like, I think you guys can hear the music now. It just was a bit louder. 
Wait a second. This is on a trip. But it was to move that, right? Okay, it's fine. Because the chandelier is where this latch was. Okay, that's fine. So she said a battery and something else? On the other side of the lake, beyond the forgotten forest, sat a more modest house. No fancy windows or crystal chandeliers. Just a small wooden frame in need of painting. Home. Ah. Uh. Yikes. Let's see. Stars, lips, hearts, and beakers. What would a girl like Susie use as a password? I don't know. Stars, heart, beakers? Beakers, star kisses? I can't go back. I don't know. Is anything gonna change if it turns 360? No. Does the shine of it equate to where it should be laying? Should it be even all around? Maybe even all around. But like, a beaker is the, the main one? I don't want to be stuck here. We're going to be stuck here because I don't know what they want from me with this. I have no idea. I don't hear any lockings. If you move the middle one, you move all. Oh my god, get me out of here. No buttons are working. Am I gonna have to look this up? Ugh. Okay, let me look it up because there's no way that I'm sitting here trying to figure this out. Thank goodness this is like an older game, so there, I'm pretty sure there's videos out there of what to do. Because if this was like new, it would be great, but still. Jenny LeClue. Um, lock, Susie lock box. It took this person one minute to get to it. I'm thinking you would have to match them, but in like what direction? Does it matter in what all directions? Like, I'm trying to do that, and, like, it doesn't even want me to. Because, like I said, if you move one, you move all. So maybe that's it. You just have to get them all connected. The outside and the inside move at the same time. So if you move... Nope. Nope, that didn't work. Dang.
No, it's the middle one. Okay. So let the inside and the outside smooth good. No. Damn it. Go back again. Ah, uh, no. No. Okay. Because like I'm trying to get the beakers, right? The beakers, the stars. Like that? It's not working. And it's not locking it. They're all connected. Unless it needs to be exactly perfect. Do they have to be exactly perfect to the lock? Oh, it's... Well, the middle one is it. You see what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think that's it. Like, we're right here. I don't know. Of course it was the beakers. Clever. My stuff! Jenny hid the ring in her pocket and flipped through the pages of her journal. No obvious signs of tampering. At least Susie knows how to mind her own business. Now I've just got to find a battery and a transistor to give to her.
bunch of old science fair projects. They had all been submitted by Anonymous, and they'd all won first prize. These awards should be hanging on the walls downstairs. It was sad to see all these marvelous accomplishments hidden away in the attic. Susie wanted so badly to please her parents, to live up to their expectations of what a Glatz girl should be. She never even told them she'd entered the science fairs. Object with an antenna and three legs. Looks like a transistor to me. I'll give this stuff to Susie and then I'll find a way out of this place. Making my escape. Don't you want to know what these parts are for? Only if it will help me get out of here. Ah! Careful! Ah, it's a stick of dynamite! Dynamite? Are you crazy? You could have blown me to bits. I did say be careful. What are you making bombs for? They're not bombs. They're silent explosives. Silent explosives? Think about it. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. Impossible, you say? Not at all. My first breakthrough came when I discovered the unique properties of. I can use this to blow my way out of here. Um, the explosion might be silent, but I think my mom would notice if part of the house was missing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for the show and tell, but it's time for me to go. And how exactly are you going to leave without being seen? I'm glad you asked, Susan. I'll be making my exit through the window in the attic. Once I found a way to unlock it. Oh, you're out of luck there. My parents are super security conscious. All the windows are locked electromagnetically. Where are the controls? Downstairs, in Dad's study. And I can't get there without being seen. Is there some kind of override? It's impossible to open them from up here, unless there was a total power failure. Well then, I know exactly what to do. Okay, well, I'll be here if you need help. tall and bolted to the floor. Yeah, well, I'm still working on that part. But she can detect a lie with 98% accuracy. That's quite a claim. Let's see. Good evening, small human child. I am JD Kate, arbiter of truth, detector of lies. Since this is the first time we have met, I will need to calibrate. To begin, please answer this simple question. What is the meaning of life? What? How am I supposed to answer that? Ha! 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 Just kidding. Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. To begin, please tell me your name. My name is Jenny LeClue. Welcome, Jenny LeClue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. I have a dog called Jeff who's writing his first novel. I think I broke it. 
It's okay. Her fuse just tripped. She gets very sensitive if you lie to her, especially if it's a big lie. But don't worry, she'll reset in a minute. Interesting. So I think the mower is gone, but now we got music in the background too. That's why I've been quiet. Yes, you were right, Sam, about the uh, three in a row, but it was the beakers. I put the hearts, I think. Welcome back, Debbie LeClue. I am ready to- Can you guys hear the music? You speak a truth or a lie. I stepped on a beetle once and held a funeral for it. You spoke the truth. Would you like to try again? Okay. I stepped on a beetle once and held a no. funeral for it. You spoke the truth. Would you like to try again? Okay. I have an evil twin sister called Penny. It overloaded again. Yeah, a little bit, okay. At least it's not like oversensitizing it. So we're fine. I don't know if that's the mowers playing the music, because normally it would just be like a passing by car. And mom texted me that they were gonna be outside, but she has this deal with them where like some days they take the payment, other days they come back another time and take it. She's not here this weekend, so I don't know if she like left money on the table or like what's... So I'm just waiting for a doorbell at this point. Hey! What'd you do? Oh, that's just Maggie. She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Why do you have a man's ring? Mm. It belonged to my dad. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? Unless... There's something more to it. Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? Excuse me, Tim. We need your help. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. Except, of course, your innermost thoughts. Look, I don't need a best friend. I just need him to examine the ring. Ouch. That hurt my feelings. Go easy on him. He's quite sensitive. Ugh. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, how wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? I need you to look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. Come to me, tiny object of vast mystery and import. Reveal to me your deepest secrets. Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I'm peering deeply inside you. What's that? Deeper still. I've never seen one of those before. Fascinating! All the wonders I have seen! Well, spit it out already! One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. What? I knew there was.
there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. I need to borrow your microscope. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. I wonder what they do. Okay. opened up like a flower why would the Dean have a ring like this whatever its true purpose one thing was clear this ring was important important enough to kill for right uh, Dean Strasberry what were you involved in this is like knives right Did you say Dean Strasberry uh. whose ring is that really Susie had entrusted her deepest darkest secret to Jenny the least Jenny could do was be honest with her. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny, you've got to turn that into the police. It could be important evidence. Considering the police think my mom is the Dean's murderer, I certainly won't be handing it over to them. Hmm. But what if they ask me about it? Well, I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible liar. It's not lying. It's just leaving out the parts that don't concern them. Oh, I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail as long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. Like friends. Sure. And go back to whatever mad science experiment you were doing. I've got a window to open. Well, I actually think that they can be friends. Like, they Combat are cousins. Formulas filled the large chalkboard. Clearly, the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that. I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. You've got to be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either, but I've got to try. It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Gross. Very fragile. Fragile? It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. Just don't pick up anything too heavy. What is he picking up? all of this like what are we doing here
Like, do I need this for something? I need a key. Hmm. Must have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype, and I'm out of replacement parts. I've got it! In the back of Jenny's brilliant mind, a plan was forming. I know exactly how to get out of here. How can I escape from Glatt's manor? I'd love to blow my way out of here. I need to get out silently without being seen or heard. <laughs> okay. Giant, oops. Giant arm window. Loot. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. When I lie to Judy Kate, she nearly overloads the power supply. So if I could overload them at the same time, then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both machines by herself. Yes? I need your... Help. Asking Susie for help is worse than having a tooth pulled out. I need you to do something. Of course. What can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh, sorry. I don't owe you anything. Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? Go stand by Judy, Kate. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. Are you ready? For what? Welcome back, Susie Glatz. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie. Tell a lie. And make it a big one. Oh, okay. A big lie. Ooh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. That was a lie. Uh. No, Susie. A big lie. Something terrible. I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strasberry. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Do you want to help or not? <laughs> yes, but... Then hurry up and say it. Okay, okay. I killed the Dean? Louder! I killed the Dean. Bigger! Uh -huh. I killed Dean Strasberry. Say it like you mean it! Who else heard I this? I murdered Dean Strawberry. I bashed his brains in. Now I danced on his grave. Wow. Yeah. That was messed up. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. As Susie Glatz contemplated every bad thing she'd ever done in her life, Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success. Huh? It 
worked. Did she just ruin the poor girl? Go talk to your cousin. Oh no. while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Jenny paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Are you scared? Of course not. Jenny would never admit it, even to herself. But she was scared. You know who should be scared? The murderer. Because I'm coming for him. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. At least take this with you then. So we can stay in touch. Fine, I'll take it. Don't call me. I'll call you. <laughs> okay. Good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Jenny, you won't tell anyone about my lab, right? Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going to be best friends, Jenny LeClue. I just know it. Sure. Right after I sign up for cheerleading. To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. And what are you gonna do when you're there? Jenny. Uh-uh. Which one is worse? I don't know which one is worse. <laughs> paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. But navigating the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. 
Damn it! Think fast, Jenny. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her huh. first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. I'm just checking all the spots just to make sure that I'm not leaving anything behind. It has good humor. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the robot. What, Tim? You saw my face, right? <laughs> and I like, like, it is a platformer, but you're getting the storyteller aspect of it. So it's like, I don't want to miss out on the platform because like, yeah, that mountain view is really cool. That's the way to Main Street. I can't risk being caught by the sheriff or his goons. The safest way home is across the lake. Okay. <laughs> it has its dark moments, but this isn't bad. And I guess that's also why this is like a 40 plus hour game, because if you're gonna go through everything and Jenny walks so slow, like we've been here for an hour already and we just got out of the ba out of the attic out of the room. My goodness. But I that I like to appreciate like they took their time to make this game. So I want to know what it has to offer me. I don't want to just rush through everything and see how fast I can complete it. Okay, so we can go down that ladder, but is there anything over here? That sound that it makes, but okay. It's like bone crushing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go.
true believer, I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. What a curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? This could be from the killer. But it was far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. There's no way I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. Must be a clue. Could be from the Dean's Keller who sent this mine. Says Susie, everything has her name on it. That's good, right? Oh my god, okay. The SS Susie. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. Ah. This'll get me across the lake in no time. Unfortunately, the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. <laughs> of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, nobody trusts anyone these days. Nope. There must be some other way to start the engine. Wrists of electric shock, third degree burns, smelting flesh, or death. Worn, <laughs> devoid of removal. I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. <laughs> Stanley Parbo game? Or Alp game? I've never heard of that. So we're just going to ignore the warranty, right? Damn, this one's stuck. Foiled at the last moment by a rusty screw. Oh well, time to turn back. <laughs> There's only one screw left. I can just pry the panel back. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. Uh huh. Wow, looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. Thank you. 
Jenny had found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. She pulled okay, out good. her journal and plotted a course. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. Got it. Let's go. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. <laughs> she thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after curfew had its benefits. Oh no. Okay. E to accelerate. We're all here. There is nothing to see. Is that moving? What is what? Oh, they're huge. Are those like whales or something? What? I thought this was a lake. There's nothing out here. Literally. Okay, oh well. I'm missing out on something, I hate this, but like there's nothing to see. It's probably like another sticker or a gallery thing. I don't remember where I need to go. Do you remember where I need to go? I thought it was one big giant rock. Yeah. So we missed one. You are here, so continue down and go right to go up past the skull.
Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to be so careful. It's fine. You're not even gonna. Just to confirm. Oh, you. Yeah. Go up. Yikes. Oh, here's the skull. That also is a lighthouse. Skull Island, home to an abandoned lighthouse and an excellent sandwich shop. Decommissioned over a hundred years ago, but the light mysteriously continued to illuminate the darkness. Dude, you can't just be talking like that. Normally when they talk, it's, I stop moving and I'm still, the boat is still going. I'm like, what? Uh, it was down again, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, keep going. Bagel Bay. Are we gonna come back to this? Oops. Stop doing that. Um, I don't think I can get through. Can I get through that? No. No, I haven't played Stanley before. You're saying it's good and funny. Okay. I would have to look it up. I, I would... I have no idea. Only Stanley I know is the Stanley Ghost. <laughs> no, we're trapped. We're trapped. There must be something in the water. Yeah, no, see, there's nothing. So two times we've missed out on something. I don't know, I can't find it. It doesn't exist. Okay. So we can't get past... the debris. Unless I went the wrong direction. Ooh. Oh my god, oops. Oh, that was loud. Huh? I can't get down there. I literally can't get down there. How do we get down there? And it's not like telling me, oh, you can... Here's the claw. Like, a fishing area. Hmm. We're trapped, we're so close. Ugh. Ok, 
Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing we came down here. Place. Place, place, place. What's, why is this not placing? Rotate is R. Oh. I need that map again. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> the broken pieces of the bridge, right. Do I go back to those pieces now that I have a picture of a broken bridge and, bridge and collect the pieces of what? Right, it's a fire exploded. She hit the sign. Look, this is the way to get out of here. How do you maneuver for broken pieces of wood? Like you don't. Do I come full, like, speeding down and hit them out the way? I don't want to break her boat. Should I attempt it? This thing can give speed. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Wait, what is the purpose? You're telling me that that's the way out. Do I have to go back to the cinnamon roll? There's a roll rock. There's the bagel. But that's not the way out. So... I guess we're literally just exploring right now. See, there's more pieces over here. Should I look this up again? I think I need to look this up again. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Whoa. That can't be good for the boat. Right. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. So we have We have this round rock thing over here. We're supposed to be able to come down here and go to the Moss Dune Bridge. The bridge is decaying apparently because that was the picture that we just made. Um, there's this bagel thing down here. Danger, low visibility. We pass that. And then we pass this fishing area. So do I need to locate all aspects of this in order to figure out what to do? If I can't do this in the next half hour, I'm like, or just look it up. I think I need to look it up. Wait, one more time. Let's go to the to the roll rock thing. Stop it. Is this the closest? Nope, can't do that. Okay. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm not sitting here for half an hour trying to figure out how to get off a boat. Jenny LeClue Lake Maze. Oh no, this video is like 20 minutes long. <laughs> 
We're obviously gonna speed through it. Okay, he passed the, the skull. He's at the same, like, pieces of wood in the middle of the ocean. Was that? Jenny just started talking. Yeah, he hit the thing, the same thing that I hit. You can't go over sand. He's going over sand. And he keeps hitting the boat. Oh my god, he didn't even finish it! Ugh. Oh my god, now this is like an hour long video. We're, again, we're not going through this whole thing. How did she find him? Wait. I think they went- so remember when I said go to the rock roll thing? I think we went the wrong direction. Because it looks like they did. So there was two parts to it, right? Nope, never mind. Wait. How did they get over there? Wait, go- go back. Oh, please. One second. Right, going around the skull, which brings you here, where I am at. But the pieces of wood are not blocking her the way they're blocking me. How did that happen? Or did they go up towards, like, the other areas that we passed? Like the fishing maze, the fishing place. I don't like this. Okay, they found the first pe like the picture that we made, they made that too. She found another gallery piece. And another one, the one that we missed. Okay, so then she's at the area where you go up um, before we even get to the skeleton head. Did she? She didn't go that way. She's going down the same way that we did, and she found a rock. Oh, it's a sticker. It's fine. What's over here? She found the first section where the wood is blocking our path and she can't go that way down by the danger zone which is where we were like there's nothing that they did that we did not do she sees the skeleton go around the skeleton so this is where I'm confused like we did the same things now if those two areas are blocked off that's the way to go. 
literally the same person is right here where we are. Oh my god! The video you're watching, the person went to the foggy area? The one that's off limits? So if I go back down... But it was barricaded. It had the pieces of wood in it. I don't like the skeleton. I don't like these eyes. They kinda creep me out. See, this is the foggy area. I can't, I can't get down here. I don't even want to know what's in the water. Like that, those shadows. <sighs> like, I'm stuck in the water! Stop it. She didn't even check how much gas this has. <laughs> like, should I go up by the fishing thing? Who's operating the lighthouse? That's a good question. But... It's not like there's like an entrance to it. I don't see one. The way that you go, this is barricaded. There's nothing like useful button that I can do. Nothing's happening. <sighs> it's it, it's it. In bed. Oh my god! No! Should I just stop here then until I can like look up some videos to see where we are? Like, I don't want to feed you guys for another half hour and we can't get anywhere. another piece of scrap. I don't know. We can't go to the Bagel Bay. Yeah, that's exactly where this boat is and she's stuck too. Okay, it looks like she went up to where the, the fish are. So go up to where the fish are. So which means going all the way back, back around, because literally there's nowhere else to go that we haven't seen. Bagel is cut off. So maybe, yeah, maybe we do have to come back. It's just a little annoying that you would put an arrow saying like that's the way to get out and then not literally have a way to get out. Like, how am I supposed to know I'm supposed to be going fishing with the giant whales that could easily tip over my boat? <laughs> ah! 
see if I can find anything. Yeah, this is the sticker that she found. Like, I don't need a sticker. If anything, I can use that other puzzle piece looking picture thing that she found by the, I think it was over by the bagel formation, but I'm not going back there now. Okay, are we in the right direction? That's fascinating. Yeah, let's go up just to see if there's like any other sticker things or whatever up here, and then we'll head to the left. Yeah. See, is this what I get for not going in every location? <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. So, like, it's a good thing that I like to look at everything and not just- there's the piece. Okay. But, like, I want to get out of this water every- <laughs> So it wasn't down by the by the um, the bagel formation. I don't like these, but okay, here we go. Oh, it's bigger. I in the shadows of giants. This must be the place. What? This entire time. Ah. Uh. Whoa, that was huge. I have to get a closer look. Red herring, a rare and fantastic sight. Can't believe they really exist. Jenny had always believed they were a fisherman's tale, but seeing them firsthand, she's so beautiful. But what was stuck in her scales? of reason I walk amongst the sunken ships that once sailed through the glowing mist it's another clue this case just got more dangerous Jenny had no idea who was behind these messages this could be an elaborate trap or it could be the answer I need to prove my mom's innocence the best course of action was to go back and get help from an adult no I have to see where this leads on my own Sunken ships, glowing mist. That should be easy to spot. Thanks, fishies! So the dangerous area. Ooh. Ooh. 
going in the opposite direction. Why is it going right to the left now? It wasn't doing that before. Is that where we started? Yes. Okay, now it's working. Gone. The debris is gone. I can't see a thing. I must be heading in the right direction. Okay. Really, game? Like you had to? Ah. Uh, what even is this? <laughs> oh, they just magically disappeared because I read something. What? Like, these are like ghosts of things. Like, I don't like this. That was it? Are you serious? Oh. Jenny navigated carefully through the thick fog. Ugh, oh, smells like rotten fish! Many ships had lost their bearings here. Grounded on the ragged rocks, swallowed by the lake. Maybe I could shed some light on these ghost ships. But like, what's with the sound, though? <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> And she's not scared, just casually strolling in the dead of night by herself on a boat. Another message. This is starting to feel like a wild goose chase. Hope in darkness. I sit in a spiral of ancient stone. Against the clock, I move alone. What's with all these cryptic messages? And where are they leading? I should get out of here before I turn into a ghost.
Phew, made it out alive. Let's go find this spiral of ancient stone. You don't know what she's talking about now. Because we already did the whole surge around thing, so now I guess those pieces of wood are gone. Ugh. Magically. <laughs> Is there? I can't. We're gonna have to drive all the way back out of this. <laughs> she's just the clue, clue. Of course, she's not scared. The night grew dark and eerie. Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Oh my god. Well, aren't you ominous? Oh. Shoot! Shoot! Ah. Seriously, get off the light! Ah. <gasps> and watch your language! Ow! Ah. <gasps> How rude! About a murder of crows. Uh. It threw a rock at me. She's not watching where she's driving. That was not a rock. It was a crab. Aliens? Every single one of those is the cat. I have to circle that. Because I can't reach it. to the unasked question. I stand inside the crescent moon. Below death's gaze, I wait for you. I wait for you. This could be the last clue. So caught up in unraveling the mystery, Jenny failed to recognize how dangerous this chase really was. Who is waiting at the crescent moon? Whoever it was, our intrepid detective would need to be extremely careful. Present moon, below death's gaze. Time to wrap up this case.
So, I didn't see any crescent moon here, and if you're saying below depth's gaze, I'm thinking of the skull? Rot? Like, what do you mean? No! Crescent moon. I mean, that's a bagel. But it doesn't hurt to go down there. Just in case it want to tell me. Oh, you're. No, there's driftwood. Sorry. Hello? Uh-uh. Uh, who's there? St stay right there! Don't come any closer! Identify yourself! I'm with the police! You're surrounded! You have two seconds to start talking or I'll... I'll have to use force! This is Satya. Right? I warned you. I'm coming over there. Right now. What? <laughs> oh, it was just my imagination. Thank God. There's nowhere. The oh. Dogs bark loudest before the dawn. <sighs> CJ? <gasps> the dogs bark loudest before the dawn. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. The wind blows strongly from the east. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. Phoenix sky is full of fireflies. The absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. That doesn't make sense. Phoenix sky is full of fireflies. The last donut is the tastiest. Excellent! They haven't broken you yet. The notes were from you? I thought you were the Dean's killer. Why did you make me go through all that if you were already in the boat? This is the only place safe from their prying years. We have to hurry. This line isn't secure. Line? We're talking in person. Exactly. Now quickly, before they get a fix on our location. What did you want to tell them? Seriously? You can't keep doing this. You contacted me. Did I? Actually, I'm glad you did. I need to ask you a few questions about the Dean's death. Good, Jenny. 
Question everything. Trust no one. Was he in the boat the whole time? Is that what he just said? No, but then he would have put the rocks like there's no way. I can't. What happened? What happened to your eye? Did you have a fight? Was a fight? More of a misunderstanding, really. A seriously purple misunderstanding. Well, you should see the other guy. Hmm, there's something you're not telling me. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is great, Scott. Police. Oh, the sticker. was wandering but now it seems to be pointing in one direction exactly do you see now it's not a compass at all so what is it then aliens <sighs> aliens what are you talking about et extraterrestrials beings from another world i know what aliens are come on cj there's no such thing what no not you too i'm sorry cj but it's time to get serious the Dean is dead, and my mom's in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurton, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they aren't looking for. That's why I come here every night, to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can sense their presence where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Um, no thanks. Are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what I'd use it for. I see. Well, perhaps you're not ready to experience the truth after all. I didn't mean to upset you. But know this! They were here before. They will return. I didn't mean and to do that. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, totally. I didn't mean to do that. I would have taken it. I didn't know that that was... The opposite I thought I was gonna say. I was gonna say second thought. Oh no! Those scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Arthurton in the library. Keep it! It's a great map! Very rare! Ripped it straight out of the town charter first edition. Come to think of it, only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got it all backed up in the cloud. What cloud? Uh -huh. Did I say cloud? I meant head. So what do all those notes mean? You wrote about seeing UFOs in the forest. Yes! You're starting to see differently. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. I didn't exactly see Back to the Future, so that's most likely why I didn't get the reference. Oh my god, I want that compass! How do I say to give it to me? the day Dean Strasbury died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did! Great! What happened? They changed the bathroom set from strawberry to pie! Mm. It was most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency. But no one was at the front desk. 
quite unusual. Was there anyone else in the library? No, uh, just the Dean and I. Till I, uh, I, uh... Until you left. It's not like you to leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I, uh, I lost track of time. I was late for an appointment. An appointment? Where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection. Leading the witness. This isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. I needed to learn. CJ, is this a confession? Well, we're going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strasbury? The Dean? Oh, no. But you just said... Good, Jenny. Suspect everyone, even me. I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time. But I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but do you have an alibi? That's why I left these notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeClue. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, I need your help. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. Risk being followed? Never! But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper, what did he write all these messages on? You wrote all these messages in a piece of newspaper. Idiot ruins school play. Parents fear their child's safety and grades. Do I, should I read this? Does it matter? Oh, well, I'm going to have to. I need to find clues. Well, I can't exactly move. I can move the paper, but nothing else. Okay. Nope, flip it over again. Okay. The front page was missing, but even this small snippet worried Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. Sheriff Winston the Clue has distanced himself from all proceedings. Well, if he won't help her, I will. Has he? Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she'd uncovered the truth of his father's death. That's the day of the Dean's murder. Three fifty-five. Clearly the afternoon. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of town, miles from the library. Mm -hmm. That's a alibi. I've got a high play and a parade about the founders of the town who was ruined by one idiot rambling the man, simply a CJ, terrible misguided man ranting. I don't see anything else. CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Krusty's bakery. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. 
He'd lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They've been friends ever since. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean. All the evidence is right here. <laughs> How can I prove CJ is innocent? Clock Fights Edition. CJ was photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 p.m. on Thursday, two minutes before the Dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. You're innocent! What a relief! <laughs> but you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. You're going to end up in jail again. That wouldn't be so bad. They have the best beds in town. Every part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed. But I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. Mm -hmm. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. Have you ever heard of a place mm. called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the Dean there. Widow's Drop! No, but it sounds suspicious. Well, anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. <laughs> Be careful, Jenny. They'll do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. Do you ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do. All the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. Yes, both. <laughs> He's hiding right under our feet. If we only stop to look. <sighs> I'm more confused than when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. This case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of these rocks have moved. Never trust a crab with a man's job. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watching. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispers. Damn it! <laughs> I've got this. Don't worry. That'll buff out. <laughs> that was gonna rip in half. <laughs> Jenny headed east towards the Almostan <laughs> Bridge. Oh. I can dock there and make my way through the Forgotten Forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky. Alright, listen. I didn't get the compass. I should have gotten the compass. I, uh, I would have clicked the one more sec, but I thought that the words were in the same place. I didn't know that they moved them. Oh well, maybe there's gonna be another time that we can. Yikes! Another time that we can get the compass because yeah, it's pointing. I don't know, cause it wouldn't have allowed me to make the choice if there was another way to do it. Or is there a way to go back? And have to live through all of that again. <laughs> Very close. Okay, we should be able to go now. Yes.
the way to my house. <laughs> the night was still and quiet on the far side of the lake. No one ever comes down here. Not since they stopped repairing the bridge. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. I wonder what he meant by that. I want to end here, but like... We're on a river and we think that we're getting watched. So... Kinda wanna move to safety a little bit. <laughs> I hear the twinkle. Okay. Forgotten Forest Trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Arthurton Gazette. Yeah, I'm stopping here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go any further. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my god. That, that was a lot. Alright. Is there anyone on? Nope. Okay.